So Marceau Scott shared some photos the other day, and we know he celebrated his 45th birthday on October 17th, this past Thursday, out in California. We know they were taping for the reunion that day. Um, he shared these photos, um, thinking this might have been his reunion look. Uh, this was a very nice suit, but he made a post, and he thanked everyone for their birthday wishes. He said this last year... His Obama year in the year of Kobe was a big year for him. He said, this was the year I was going to push the limits. He said he was going to try this year. He said he made significant gains in becoming the man he wants to be. The difference is simple. He said he gave more and he tried harder. He said he got a personal trainer and worked out more consistently. He said he gave up alcohol for months at a time. And when he did drink, he said he cut back significantly. He said he formulated and cultivated relationships. He said, I chose love. I chose to try. I chose to feel. I chose to believe. I chose to ask for help. He chose to apologize. He chose to listen. And he says, I chose to love life. All this ish makes me thirsty for more. I am going to do more, give more, love more purely, be more produce more, pour into others more. And he says, I'm going to really see who the God made me to be. If God don't like me cussing, he'll stop me. So as I enter 45, he says, people are asking me what's next. Is it your Trump year? He says, nah, fam, Obama got two terms. Let's do it again. Now, he did share a video where he talked about some situations and conversations that he had with two of his children, and then he focused a little bit more on his life. So let's take a listen to what he had to say. I decided to do a video because it was supposed to be way too long. I share a short story. I was um, talking to my daughter the other day, and she... Uh, Thinks she has a boyfriend, and so I wanted to nip that in the bud. And so I was explaining to her about, wow, you know, she's too young at 11 to have a boyfriend. And she began to cry, and it was, it was, it was a cry that was like from the soul. And I wanted to tell her that that's not, you know, that's like, that's, you're going to have other loves in your life, and that's not real. But the truth is, you know, the truth is we should all want to love like that. The truth is we should all want to love and be loved like she does. And right after that, I uh, got on the road to take my son to a track meet. He's the second year running track and he's getting better. He's been working track all um, throughout the summer. And he's getting better. And, um, well, just to step back, that conversation was much longer. And I got so much more out of it um, than I thought was even possible. And so anyway, so I get, fast forward, I get to taking my son on the road and he's running uh, he's running this track and he's, he's very, very happy and he wants a chance to compete against others to show what he's been doing all summer, what he's been working on. So he's super excited. We wake up and we get on to the track meet. It's uh, eight o'clock in the morning and he didn't run till what felt like five o'clock in the evening, but it was actually about 11 or 1130. Needless to say, I was there all day. He did pretty good in his uh, 40 meter. And so I think he came in second overall, took home some hardware. And then he ran the uh, 60 meter. That wasn't as good. Uh, and then he ran a 200 meter for his final. And for his 200 meter, I always see him always go to like the midway point to right after they come around that curve. And because I know he sees me and he uh, wants to give more. And he's because he, 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 he sees me and, and, and that's uh, like, you know, there's my dad. I want to show off for my dad. So he does that and I see him and I see so many people passing him by. Right. Everybody's just zoom, 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 zoom. 
And I could see the frustration in his face. I could see the not doing so well in his face. But I see his cheeks bouncing and he's digging and he's grinding and he's moving, right? And so um, he comes in. I mean, everybody's going past him. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, they got like, you know, he's in front of like three people. But <clears throat> as he comes down, you know, I can see the disappointment and he's coming after me and he's walking up while I'm standing there. Now his form looks 10 times better. He's gotten, you know, he he's, he's looks more like a track athlete running. But he didn't win and he didn't get close to winning. And um, so I can see him walking up to me and we get in the car, he's kind of down, he's kind of going through in this moment. Wait, flashback, while he's running and I see him, I just see so much on his mind. I, I glance at him for a brief moment and he gets eye contact with me, but you know, I, I can see so much on his mind, so much, um, cause he's in a process of losing. He's in the process of losing. And sometimes it's easy to, lo to lose, but going through the process of losing is a tough one. And we finally get back in the car. He looks at his uh, number. He, he wasn't even as fast as he normally is in his, in his um, 200. And he says, he's like, um, it's okay, Dad, I'm getting better. I was like, Dad, I'm getting better. Look at my daughter. She's like, you know, we had a long discussion about freedom, about love, about me knowing her, about us working together and communicating so we can trust each other to help guide her through whatever. And what I saw in my kids' faces, and this is why it makes me so happy, is that I saw her love to the point of tears. I saw my son almost losing almost to the point of tears. And I was like, you know what? They're experiencing the chance to give their all. They're experiencing the chance to fight, to love hard, to drive, to push, and to ask more of themselves and to grow. So as I come up on the 44th year of my life, I'm just so thankful that God put it in me to plant the seed in them. And the gift that they gave me back was exponential. The gift they gave me back was the gift of being able to see that my words meant something to them. And then they combined it with the faith they have in their father and the faith they have in their parents and they live life with those words. And those words weren't just a Facebook quote to them. Those were words from my father. And they planted those seeds and they lived on those seeds. And so now when I have conversations with my children, it's like I'm talking to an intelligent adult. And I'm so thankful that God allowed me to plant the wisdom inside of them because I planted that seed and now 11, 12 and 16 years later, I get to eat off that tree and I get to learn from my children. And so I'm about to go running today. And I'm gonna love, I'm gonna love life. I'm gonna push Marceau, I'm gonna find out what I can do. Talk to Reese this morning. He said, uh, man, we got lazy. We got real lazy. And I've been saying this for years. It's easy to go from zero to a million than it is from a million to a billion. And even though one's a million miles away, you have that, you have that, uh, that, what's that word? That motivation. You have that, uh, nothing can motivate you like poverty. Nothing can make you fly like gravity. And poverty is so much like gravity because it pulls on every soul of your being. It 
pulls on everything and you find a way to fly. But then you find a way to be comfortable. You find a way to overthink it. You look back and you don't want to lose. And so at 44, I'm willing to lose. I'm willing to I'm willing to lose in life. I'm willing to lose in love. I'm willing to lose the race. But I'm not willing to not compete. That's my promise to me. And so, my Facebook post, which I'll post and I'll post this video up under it, is um, it's simple. Look at your life now. And ask yourself, what would happen if I would have truly given my all? Just be accountable. Just be accountable for our own destiny. And let's see if we can't choose to be the best we can be. Maybe we won't. Let's see it. Then again, maybe we will. Well, all right, Marcel Scott. Uh, well, we hope Marcel had a great birthday. Happy belated 45th. And, um, you know, he said he's going to do better. Love more. Give more. Choose to love more purely. Uh, what do you guys think about what he had to say? Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.